Hello, 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 mid-evening, hi. Uh, just want to share some good news. God bless you, God keep you. God is always good. Be ye steadfast. God bless you and pray to God uh, gives uh, shelter to those in the hurricane. Provide them with food and nourishment. <laughs> spiritual leadership and guidance through all that they go through. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to say, uh, God shows up and he shows out. Uh, <clears throat> I was speaking to you yesterday about, uh, uh, I had to listen to my own whole tape yesterday because I, 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 I'm on third shift and sometimes my that sleeping pattern kind of throws you out, so I didn't want to be saying something like wacky and start on a point and leave. There was one point I kind of started on and then I got diverted from, but other than that, it was pretty good. Um, uh, well, let me say, anyway, I was talking about how I, I was out focused and I was wrong and God wants us as black people to unite. And um, so keeping with that, you know, and you know, and I talked about my prayer that I was like, God, show up, show out, of you know, let me do what you want me to do and lead and guide me, whatever, show me, I let me go. So anyway, on that pattern, okay, here we go, God showing up again. So I'm at the doctor's office, so I'm sitting there, and um, it's an older lady, a little older than me, and the gentleman, they were sitting next to me, wasn't saying nothing, these two men was talking, the lady didn't say anything. But I noticed that she pulled out a book, and it was like one of the, uh, one of these little books where you uh, take Bible study. She pulled out one of those, and it's like the books I gave away. In the verge of giving up on my dream, basically. You know what I'm saying? So I gave away a whole lot of books because I didn't use them, and I prayed that somebody else would use them. So this book looked like one of those. I don't know if it was or wasn't. I didn't get to read, you know. I was looking at it upside down. So, okay, eventually, you know, uh, I'm going to tell you about my other victory. A uh, victory. Yes, to show you what I do. Yeah, what I do. My degree does. So anyway, right now, so the lady, anyway, her husband must have went back or whatever, and they got a mix-up on, because I had to step outside on the telephone dealing with Metro, that anybody that was listening to my previous tape, where a uh, Metro company, which I love, I still got a phone with them, but at the time, somebody in that, one of their uh, employees played me. So anyway, I'm going to tell you about that victory. So I stepped outside to take that phone call. So, okay, when I went back in, the lady was in there by herself, so her husband must have went back. A husband, I don't know. I believe it was a husband. So I'm sitting there talking, you know, so I was sitting there, and you know, now, you know, I mean, God, I'm not in me. So I struck up a, a, up a conversation and was telling her about, you know, asking her had they called my name, and uh, she said, no, I don't think so. Check at the window. So I checked at the window. They said I hadn't been called. So I started a, a conversation. I was telling her about, you know, what happened to me. You know, I was in Metro, and the lady told me they no longer had the $30 plan. They only had the $40 plan, and she overcharged me on some things. And uh, so within that, we got to talking. So I'm going to break it down short. So in the process of talking and stuff like that, you know, I, I'm talking. So God just, you know, this is unusual. God starts saying, talk about what you do. You know, talk about black people, and, you know. So in the process, I start talking about, you know, uh, the poverty and the lady that played on me was my complexion. You know, so I'm like, why would you do that to me? And I'm talking that. And then she shared a story with me about how someone did her daughter, played her daughter for her, uh, 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 did some trickery and some scams, uh, try to get away from this line, uh, used a scam and, and took some information off her daughter's car. They took a picture of her daughter's car, and then before her daughter could report it, they had already spent some money on it. So watch your debit cards, watch your ATM card, watch your credit card, because people can take pictures of them and use them. So be very careful. So anyway, as we started talking, I was like, okay, you know, we were talking about poverty and this and that. And she said, yeah, you know, I, I remember back in the day, this and that too. And I, I'm not used to technology. And I was telling her some things about, you know, uh, I'm going to give y'all a tidbit too. Uh, when, uh, when, if, you get, if you get overcharged, uh, what is it? If you have an overdraft fee on your card, you can go to the bank and call them or go in and tell them 
that you wasn't aware of and you don't feel like it, they should charge you for, especially if you didn't know about it. Especially this is for the elderly because a lot of them really don't know and they the ones that get taken advantage of, which me and the lady, you know, the lady, she was the main person that said that elderly get scammed a lot. When you go in there, rather than let that bill go up because it's $30 or $40 for the overdraft fee, and then after so many days it goes up, you could go into the bank and dispute it. And sometimes when you dispute it, depending on the bank, they and the bank manager or the person handling that, they can take and dismiss that fee if they want to, if they choose to. They can dismiss it, and which would set your account correct. So that's something that she said she wasn't aware of. So I made her aware of it. Hello. So anyway, we were talking, and so we were talking about poverty, and I was talking about they have people take advantage of you, and we both was on that. Have, we don't have the money. We don't have no money to be wasting, trying to uh, overdraft fees and all this type of thing, and people playing on you for your phone. So we were talking all that. So in the middle of it, I said, yeah, I had just went to this little uh, private, uh, poor people's coalition thing. And she said, yeah. She said, uh, uh, yeah, I was going to go be in my husband. Right, that's how, it, yeah, she said his name, I think, though, but she said, yeah, we were going to go, but we weren't feeling good and we live a distance or whatever. She said, so we didn't get to make it. So I was like, wow, so she knew Mr. Bobber. Evidently, she, she, she was aware of it. So she was talking and woo-woo-woo, so I was like, wow. So in the process of talking, I'm like, let me take my number, you know what I'm saying, because she was telling me, she said, yeah. She said, I used to be one of them people. She said, I used to get locked up. My sister would already be calling and trying to find me because she knew I was in jail. She said, I used to always fight for that. So I'm like, look at God. But you know, I didn't say it to her, but I'm like, okay, I'm going to make sure that I get this connection right here because I see God showing up and popping up. When you pop up, you got to be popping with it. So I was like, okay, give me your number, you know, and this stuff I usually don't do. This is God. So I said, oh, here's my number because they was calling me to, the, to go to see the doctor. So I'm like, wrote my number down, you know, and named my organization, and I gave a little tidbit of what I was trying to do. And so she was like, uh, 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 you know, the doctor called me, I'm talking to her, and uh, in the process of talking, she was like, uh, I was telling her that, uh, who was at the, the meeting, and uh, I said, yeah, uh, I heard about it through Bates and stuff like that, it was at the end, she said, well, I got it in my email, she said, but I didn't see anything on the news about it, I said, yeah, I said, but you seen some information about a murder, didn't you, she said, yes, I said, yeah, you're going to see murder before that, I said, yeah, the, uh, it was some media there, because uh, Reverend Barber asked about the media, but it must have been a little private media, but it wasn't your basic uh, uh, news media that reports all of the all of the crime. It wasn't real big there, and she didn't see it on the news. And I said, no, nah, I wasn't. I said, but I was there. A couple of people, you know, what I'm saying, a couple of pastors, our name and stuff like that. I don't want to blow it out of the box, but anyway, some people from Bakersfield. Uh, I put that there. And so uh, she said, yeah, she said, uh, uh, I, uh, I said, well, I go to base, I go to St. I go to any church that opens the door for me, so I'm in and out. I said, but I happened to be there, and I seen the message on the about it, so that's why I attended. And she said, yeah, she said, uh, I go to base sometimes. I said, you go to base? She said, yeah, I go to base. She said, yeah, she said, sometimes I win when my daughter will drive me or something like that. So I'm sitting there like, what? I'm like, woo, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> like I said, like uh, Brother Tim, I had seen him in church. That, uh, I think it was a Saturday, Saturday, a Sunday. Sunday, it was Sunday, I seen him in church. And I was like, wow, you know, you know. So, anyway, are you seeing the connection? Here it is, I'm talking about uh, black people need to speak up and, 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 and take care of themselves, take care of their community. You know, poor zip code, average zip code. They need to take care of it. And here it is, this lady, of all the places to meet, all the people in the world you can meet, here's this lady. And she didn't say she was a member base, but she said she attends. Here it is a person that attends there that has the same enthusiasm for poor people as I do. And here it is, I met her. I mean, so it's like awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. I'm talking about totally awesome. And I was like, God, look at you. So I, I'm moving. I'm moving. So we're going in the path. I thought I was going to go at a slower pace. So God had already told me, he said, slow down. Don't say nothing. He tells me to shut up. When he tells me to shut up, I learn now I shut up. You know, because I don't jump in myself. Because my, myself want, oh, God, I'm getting old. Let's go. And God has said, sit down. So I, I listened to him. I didn't say nothing else. So here it is. God going to be like, okay, he told me to shut up so he can speak up. And so here it is. Like I said, I met the lady. So I'm praying that she calls me. But even if she don't call me, I plan. I hope to God I see her. You know, because I want to get fed. I want her to give me some information. I want to get fed from her. You know what I'm saying? So I can feed somebody else. And so, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I did tell her, uh, you know, the doctors, they steady calling, the nurse calling me back, but I'm steady trying to talk to her and get information. 
And I was explaining to her, which surprised me, usually I don't tell people my business what I'm trying to do. But you know what I'm saying? When I when I can't speak, God speaks for me. So I was telling her what I wanted to do, you know, how I wanted to uh, get a building and help people and feed people information like I had said to her. Plus, I gave her some more information that she was totally unaware of. You know, she has the flip phone, and I'm like letting her know it doesn't matter what type of phone you have. There's a lot of information. People are not aware of things that you can do online. So I have I have a lot of the information. I'm not the only person with the information, but right now I'm the person that's speaking on it, and I'm the person that will give you the information. But that's what I would like, a, a facility where I can do that, do what God taught me to do. And at the mean, in the meantime, I want to get information from her. Because she was so, you know, she was sitting there quiet at first, but when we start talking about poor people, you can just see the, uh, uh, what is it, that ju jubilance? You know, the joy, the joy and, 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 and the fight in her. And the only thing that uh, kind of perturbed me, <laughs> I know y'all tripping out my words, I like perturbed. The only thing that kind of upset me is that she made the statement, she said, oh, that was in the day when I was young, but I'm old now. And I'm like, now I definitely see what past are saying. I didn't, I, I disagree with my body be doing some stuff, you know, but it, it, it is a time, even though we are older, Pastor Wills, right, it doesn't matter about the age. That's one thing he always preached and really always kept me good coming back to the church. We got some people talk about it. it's for the youth to take the baton and pass it on. Well, now it's older people, some wisdom and some guidance that we can bestow on people. And so it's beautiful. Even though I'm older, there's somebody older than me that has more knowledge than me. And so therefore, yeah, age ain't nothing but a number. And so, like I said, once we start talking like that, she got happy. And I seen her because she was sleepy at first. I seen her become joy, joyful. I seen her encouraged. And so, yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. And I explained that to her. I said, honey, it don't, it don't matter how old you are. I said, you can do something. And to be honest, that wasn't me saying that. It was Reverend saying it because I was like, because at first I was like, yeah, we are. But as she was talking, I'm like, you got all this information. A youthful person doesn't have this information. A youthful person wasn't fighting back in the 60s. She said she was fighting and going to jail in the 60s. Are y'all listening to me? I didn't make I didn't make this up. I didn't tell that lady to beat her because I was like, oh, somebody playing it. Maybe she's listening on my phone. Now, nah, that lady didn't know nothing about me. God put that lady there so we could meet. That was a heavenly, that was a God moment right there. And so, yeah, I want to kick it with her. You know, I want to get some more information from her. That was powerful. You know, and I didn't get everything I wanted. And I had told the doctor when I got back there, I said, as soon as I start having a conversation, decent conversation, I said, here it is. I had to come back here. You know, I wanted to get up and leave, but, you know, my toothache told me, sit down. So, like I said, I got to work on that and stuff. But, um, like I said, I didn't get the lady's name. And she talked like she used to be a school teacher. She is a school teacher. But, uh, yeah, I, 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 want, I want to talk to her. You know, I'm learning how to ask people for information. I'm learning how to ask people about themselves. I'm learning how to let people pull into me rather than me keep opening my mouth talking. It's nice to hear someone else talk, you know, because I can learn something from everybody. No matter what color you are, I can learn from you. But it was beautiful sitting there talking to her, you know, so God bless her. And so her is the victory. Okay, remember I was telling you what I went through with the phone. The chicken, the uh, phone service going to tell me I can't get my money back, all that. Well, hello. Well, I was sitting in the doctor's office before I struck up the conversation with the lady. They called me to say that they were going to refund my money. But since I tore up the debit card, they can't put my money back on there. But, as I said, girlfriend said at the wireless store, Metro, you're not going to get your money back. You can't get your money. And I told her what? I said, yeah, watch me. And like I said, it's not physically in my hands, but my money is being returned to me. And I did get a telephone call stating that. What? 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 Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. I'll write a letter. <laughs> hey, y'all remember white chick <laughs> where they uh, threw around on the plane and stuff, and she said, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm going to write a letter, you know. So, yeah, it's crazy, the Wayne and Brothers. But uh, like I said, though, reality is it's a beautiful thing, so. Like I said, God's will, if it's God's will for me to meet her, then you know what I'm saying, see her again, I'll for her to call me, it's beautiful. But things I have learned in life, I don't push it. 
If somebody don't call me and I give them my number or whatever, if I'm in through talking to them and they in through talking to me and, you know, we don't hook up again, I'm fine with it. If God saying, no, leave them alone. But if God opens the door, then I, lo I know now to jump in. Jump in, go ahead, listen to talk. And it's a beautiful thing. And I love talking now. I love talking face to face and person to person. I'm not with that all that uh, texting and telephone. We talked about a lot of subjects, a lot of things she didn't know, some things I didn't know. So, you know, I didn't know that they closed that Kroger's down. That was 24 hours. So she gave me a lot of information. So God bless her. God bless you all. And uh, like I said, just put your trust and your faith in the Lord and then stand back and see how awesome he is.